to know how to use this Mega Knight Hog Freeze deck, then I will show you the best deck guide on this deck and we will start right now. What's going on? My name is Chirag and welcome to another episode of Best Clash Royale Deck. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn new decks, how to push in ladders and win challenges, start now by subscribing and clicking the notification bell so you don't miss anything. This is the third time I make deck guide on Mega Knight. So basically Mega Knight rule the meta now. If you new and not seen any previous video of my channel, kindly go in description and check all the awesome videos or click on little eye icon in right top corner. This Mega Knight Hawk Freeze deck is a best deck for ladder and challenges. This deck contains 3 spells and very defensive archetype. In this deck, we have Hog Rider, Mega Knight, Mosquito, Dart Goblin, Cannon, Freeze, Fireball and the Zap. Let's see card overview that you can understand how you can use this card in different situations. First card is Hog Rider. Best win condition since Clash Royale release as I always say. Always difficult to opponent to handle. Can be used as a defensive card for kite other tank and you can easily push in two lanes. Best when pair with Freeze and Mega Knight. If opponent push so much elixir to defend your Mega Knight, you can put Hog on bridge with Freeze or Zap to punish your opponent. Second card is Mega Knight. Mega Knight is your second win condition and defensive card that can counter almost all ground troops. Mega Knight is a strong element in your deck with his ability to make charge and clear troop. You can use Mega Knight with Hog and Freeze, make opponent rage quit. Mega Knight can be tanked for your Musketer, Hog and that Goblin. Third card is Musketer, the most valuable card in this deck since you have only two cards for air control. Musketer can clear most of troop and clear air attacks like balloons, minion and hordes, flying machine, baby dragon, inferno dragon and electro dragon. Use it wisely and not give fireball and lightning value. Use with mega knight, hog and cannon. The fourth card is cannon. The only defensive card in your deck is cannon. This three elixir common card can give more value if played correctly. Use this to kite many tanks and other tower targeting troops. Use for hogs and balloons. Use with Marketer and that goblin to counter any push. If you defend any lava loom push, use cannon and that goblin. If the lightning, then still you have Marketer and fireball. The fifth card is freeze. This is your surprise element in your deck. The freeze can be effectively used in combination with hog and mega knight to deal massive damage to buildings and crown tower. The freeze should be cast once the hog approaches to tower. Disabling the enemy tower and also any troop deployed to defend it. The sixth card is Fireball, your main damage dealing card when your hog can't reach the tower when you want to finish low HP tower. Fireball prediction is very helpful when your opponent put all their troops at a one place. Fireball can clear glass cannon, minion horde, flying machine. Use Fireball perfectly. If you miss any troop, that troop can deal massive damage. Seventh card is Dart Goblin. This card can be beat card. In this deck, the Dark Goblin is best to use behind a tank such as a Mega Knight and a Hog Rider. The tank will absorb all the damage for the Dark Goblin and coupled with the Dark Goblin's fast hit speed, the combo can quickly destroy your crown tower. However, due, due to the Dark Goblin low hit point, he can counter easily with the lock for positive elixir trade or arrow to neutral trade. The dart goblin fast attack speed allow it to take care of small swarm quickly. He can also easily counter a graveyard with the help of arena tower. The last card is zap. Out of 10, 8 deck have this card so no need to explain. So let's see the replacement for the cards. The fireball. You can use poison since this deck have a hog rider. Dart goblin. You can use princess, mega minion or inferno dragon. For zap. You can use arrow and the log. For cannon, you can use goblin cage or inferno tower. For mosquito, you can use any wizard and baby dragon. Game plan for this deck. Early game. In early game, use hog rider and try to understand your opponent deck and figure out how you can use your hog rider and mega knight with freeze. Use fireball and zap with the hog in early game. See what they put for your hog rider. 
defense with musketer and cannon use your dart goblin in middle of map that he can use his range and clear troops in other lanes you can switch your lanes and try to confuse your opponent if there is a massive boost come to you use mega knight use dart goblin at a bridge and get cheap damage use musketer far from your arena tower to avoid spell damage if they use inferno tower for your hog then next time use dart goblin to clear inferno tower Late game or sudden death. Use Mega Knight with Hog Rider. First counter their push, then push Mega Knight or Hog Rider at the bridge and wait for their defense and put free spell on their all troops. If you can't get their tower by Hog or Mega Knight, then use Spell Cycle and defense with Mega Knight, Musketer, Cannon and Dart Goblin. Avoid spell damage and put Hog on bridge. If your Hog reach tower, then put freeze perfectly. That can give you tower. Matchups for this deck. Pekka decks. Use your Mega Knight for Pekka and try to make Pekka to come in your arena tower range. They counter your Hog using their Pekka so make switch lane. Don't give poison and lightning spell value. Lava Loon Dex. Use your Musketer smartly and perfectly place your cannon and Dart Goblin. Fireball Balloons and use Dart Goblin for Lava Pops. Hog Dex. Make perfect cannon placement and use Mega Knight for Hog and Valkyrie is push. Put hog in different lanes. That is for me. Hope you learn something and like this deck. Make sure to subscribe my channel for best Clash Royale content, where I showcase the best Clash Royale decks. Hope you enjoy it. See you next Clash Royale video. Peace.